Hello frogs, how's it going? Welcome, welcome, welcome to Family Day. In last week's video, this one, Dark Shark Gaming YT, which I think it stands for YouTube. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it stands for YouTube. Who is a new subscriber? So thank you, thank you, thank you. Asked me if I could make the bubble elevator for the case by the spawner. So we had a little talk. Yeah. And I will provide. That's better. This is the seed he is playing on currently. And here we have the case spider spawn he was talking about. One over here, one here, and the other in here. There are more. One's over there, another one over there, and even more in other places. Today we will make a triple case spider spawner. First we need to light up the spawner, so run to it. If you are in survival, the cupwebs can be cut with the sword or the shears, and you get the cupweb, like so. And now we can put this over here. Oh, give me. Uh oh. If we put four torches like so, excuse me, around the spawner, it to be deactivated. Now no more spiders to spawn. But I don't trust spiders, not at all. So let's put some more torches around. More torches all over the place. More. Okay, now that we have the three spawners lighted up. We go in with the second step of this farm. We need to find where we're going to put the killing chamber. We have two options. We can either try and find the place from one. We can see both spawners like this one. We could even go over here and break in all these rocks like so. We can see that spawner. You get the idea. It's kind of tricky in survival and difficult. Or the easy one. We go over here. Write down these coordinates that I have done in a paper. Go to the second, do the same, and now the fourth. And with some little maths. It's not that difficult. We will find this diamond block over here. So if we go into creative again, we know we have one spawner over there. There it is. We see it's active. We have another over here. So we can break all this. We stand here and you can see how the spider is going around. It means this it means the spawner is active. And now we need the other one which is in the middle over there. Okay, one's active, the other one is active, and the other one is active. These are the coordinates. Okay, now to build in the farm. What I recommend now that we have the killing chambers place and we know where all the three spawners are is to go to the one in the lowest part and dig first room four blocks out one two three and four in every direction one two three and four okay and maybe we can use I don't know light blue wall just to be able to see it like this one two three and four and connect everything like this and one two and three that's the roof over there one two three and four perfect and now give me a second and dig this place oh and now that i think about it the killing chamber needs to be in a distance of less than 15 blocks from every spawner. One block further, the spawner won't activate. And now, one, two, three blocks down. Now this room is dug out and looks really bad. We need to know in what direction we want to take the spider south. So, we have the killing chamber right here. What I'm thinking is that we can take the spider south in this direction and from this spawner like this have a water current go in this direction to a bubble elevator right here that will take all the spiders over here. And for this spider spawner we take the spiders here and then over here. So now, why did I say I wanted to build this one first? Give me a second. Well, because we have the Y coordinate, that is 25. You may be wondering why 25 is important. Well, all three spawners are at different heights and we need to build the first layer of the bubble elevator at the same height, so 25. So when digging this 
rooms over here we don't need to dig four blocks down we need to dig until we reach y25 so one two three four five six blocks from here one two three four five six seven eight for this spawner this will change for every spawner and every double or triple case five spawners need to be set up individually so yeah try to do your best i will give you a few advices but that's the best i can do now it's time for me to dig all these rooms out so the night vision is gone and i'm scared but let's go into time lapse Okay, frogs, now we have the three rooms dug up. Hmm. So we want the water to go from this open to here. So we go here to this one, and we're going to go in that direction. So block in the corners, a slab on top of the spawner, water, water. We break. these blocks like so and all the ones over here and these three blocks and we can dig a little bit more to go in we put some walls in here I mean of course some pack ties and we can see how this works perfectly and now we put pressure plates if we put walls over here, we can put fence gates because of this. If we put a fence gate, it connects and creates this little thingy that will stop the spiders to come in. So, press the plates. Let's do the same with the other ones. Wow. And see you in a minute. Okay, now that we have this over here, we dig three blocks like so. like this and we want the spiders to go excuse me over there over this little place I have to go out. okay and now that we have all this corridor dug out and a little tunnel up to the killing chamber so we know where we need to build the what the elevator what we will need to build in here in this tent over here just right in front of the killing chamber we can start working with the water sources. That can be tricky. What if we do this? Break this block and do this. Okay, now maybe we can do this too. Try with a case spider. Oops. Right. They go in. Okay, it works nicely. Uh, maybe we can do the same with this one over here. Okay, I think this works. This should be filled so they shouldn't go up. Pack ties here, a row, and some pressure plates. And let's take a look at the other one. Okay, and over here I think we can do the very same, break these two blocks, wall, and waterlock this wall, there they come, oh, and they go real nice, okay, so now eyes where this block stops, press the plates, and more water sources, over here, <laughs> we have the problem because we need the water to reach with some strength, so two blocks before this ends, packed ice and precious plates and more water sources. We dig a couple blocks and put a water source there. And I believe that it should create a current like the ones before and um it's stopping there. Oh 
Damn it. Maybe we put three like so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Three blocks down over there. Water sources, so we can see how the spiders come and go over into the future bubble elevator. And what we need to do now is to dig a couple blocks more. Okay. In. Wall. 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 Water locked. It doesn't really matter which gate, but gates are important. Oops. Okay. <laughs> There's a little lake over here. Now we need to break this over here. The block above there, like so. Fence gate, walls, wall. We need to place signs all over here. Till we reach Y32. And now that we have this, we need to go up and <laughs> we put solid blocks in here, three water sources there, like so, and this will flow all, over, all the way over here. And now we can really set up the kiln chamber, the chest, three hoppers pointing into it with three slabs on top and trapdoors there in that block and we close this but as we want to go in we can go over here and now before closing all of this what we can do is break these three blocks the water will flow down wrap or kelp plant it like so all the way up one side and the other and now everything should be water sources we go down break this like so and place three soul sands and we should go all the way up okay it's working also remember to find a way to come in here and close this because if you don't block all of this the spiders will go everywhere around like everywhere and one way to get into a place like that in survival is with a trapdoor you place it maybe there open it close it and then you are in this position and you can go around and okay it looks like everything it's in place so let's go oh and now for the final touch we need to break all these three blocks over here so this water current flows into the bubble elevator and when the spider touches it the wall will push them up and the bubble elevator to the clean chamber and now we fill this up we go over here and remember to go into the spawn rooms take off all the lights you have placed like around here and maybe even the walls like so we take them out place the slab on top or maybe even a pillar like so but a slab is more than enough grab your super duper vein of afterpods 5 sweeping nets, netherite sword and wait for the spiders to come and we can go in survival you see the chest is empty and let's wait for them there they come one hit and we can get really close to the chest and we can kill them oh it's working really nice all the spiders are going up and as soon as they see me they come to kill me not that they can i mean <laughs> let's take a little look in the spectator okay they are annoying like that, yeah, they get stuck everywhere, but most of them look like they're making their way into the bubble elevator. Oh, okay, as you can see, they push each other most of the times, 
Sometimes they don't, but... Uh, slowly but surely they are making their way into the bubble. Let's add a water source there. And see, okay, yeah. Add a water source there in that corner. So they get push a little bit more. Okay. I don't know why that spider is stuck in there, but oh, there we go. Oh, I've I've been wondering like I don't know a couple minutes. Let's see. Oh, okay. Oh, ten levels in a couple minutes. That's amazing. If you leave this thing running for a little while and sweep up them, you will be swimming in XP and spider eye and string fish and trying to say goodbye. Don't interrupt me. Okay. See you in the next one, frogs. Hope you like it. Leave a like, subscribe, and all those things. Thank you, Dark Shark, for the amazing sick. See you in the next one. See ya.